kicking up. And this, the smaller weapon, what's this? This would be a Israeli Uzi, 9mm round, uh, made for uh, women in the Israeli army, it's from what I hear. What is this larger weapon that we're going to shoot? This would be the M249 saw, currently in service with the U.S. military. Um, M249, okay. M249 saw, uh, saw stands for squad automatic weapon. Um, does the job very well, real heavy, a lot of support. It'll, uh, fairly easy to shoot. But this is something that infantrymen are using now. Oh, yes. It's yeah. part of every fire team. Yeah. Okay. And what caliber bullets does it shoot? Yeah, 5.56 five, rounds linked together, just like this. Okay, so it's automatic. This one. Can we see how badly I did on this one? Can we pull that target in? Sure. Yeah, see, on this one, see, I wasn't aiming here. If I was aiming there, I would have hit right there. I was actually aiming right there. And this guy, so I got uh, nailed him. I was going for the outer forearm. What I did in Las Vegas. Mm. So we're here at uh, the gun store, which is a Las Vegas institution, uh, family-run business, been here for 25 years, uh, and the owner is Bob Irwin. Bob, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. I understand that you're uh, you're running for state assembly this year. I am. How's your campaign? The, the campaign's going pretty well. Um, be basically because of this, I have a lot of name recognition, and as it happens, I'm a Republican candidate, and we've kind of got some momentum. The, uh, the, the state is really embroiled in this because of the Sharon Angle versus Harry Reid yeah. situation. And, uh, so we're getting a lot of play. That's one of the reasons that I wanted to come here and, and talk to you because I know that you guys held a Sharon Angle gun rights night. And I'm and coming from outside the state, I'm trying to understand you know, what you can tell on the ground here that you can't tell from outside. And so why is why does her candidacy represent gun rights to you. Why well, it, she's quite pro-gun, but <clears throat> the, it's actually the reverse. It's Harry Reid being anti-gun. Okay. The, the gun uh, world, if you will, took offense to his endorsing the last two uh, Supreme Court justices. On that same issue, the, the other side of the gun issue that has received a lot of national attention with Sharon Engel is these comments that she's made about there being Second Amendment remedies to political problems. I, I remember the comment. Yeah. I saw it on, on uh, actually on Reed's commercials. Yeah. I didn't see her make that. I'm not really up to speed on what the context of that was. Let me give you. I can give she, you the exact point. I don't think she held the news conference and said this one sentence and walked away. There's well, the thing. The thing that was. The thing that was interesting to me about it is that she said it a bunch of times. She said on Lars Larson's radio show, "You know, if this Congress keeps going the way it is, people are really looking toward those Second Amendment remedies and saying, my goodness, what can we do to turn this country around?' And I'll tell you, the first thing we need to do is take Harry Reid out." And she said in another radio show, the Second Amendment's the right to keep and bear arms for our citizenry. It's not for somebody who's in the military. It's not for law enforcement. This is for us when our government becomes tyrannical. It's to defend ourselves. And, you know, I'm hoping that we're not getting to Second Amendment remedies. I hope the vote will be the cure for the Harry Reid problems. Well, a vote is the cure. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I really can't speak for Sharon Angle's campaign or Sharon Angle. Yeah, oh, I, I know. I know it'd be nice if I could and tell you this is what Sharon Angle does and means. No, but, I, I, I but as somebody who's, I, because you held the gun rights event for Sharon Angle, does that, do those statements well, by her no, about it, Second Amendment it, remedies? That, that's backwards, too. Okay. We held the gun rights thing, just a Second Amendment rally, to generally get conservative candidates noticing the store and our candidacies okay. and our candidates. It wasn't a Sharon Angle rally. Sharon okay. Angle came in as our keynote speaker, which I was see. very nice of her, but... It really wasn't a Sharon Angle rally. It was a Second Amendment rally. Let's all cheer and support the Second Amendment. Her comments about there being Second Amendment remedies if the vote doesn't get what she wants. Does do you do you agree with her? Does that trouble you? Are you are you concerned by those comments? I, I don't want to comment on Sharon Angle's campaign. I, I'm, but you do support I'm her. I, I am supporting her, and I am personally voting for her. You know, I would suggest you ask Sharon Angle or her press secretary. Love to. Well, I'm would sure you would. Do you have any poll? You can get <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I don't have her number, but <laughs> the, uh, you know, and, and like I say, this, the same is reversed with Harry Reid. He said some things he wished he hadn't said, and, and we're, we're kind of at an impasse there.
I just want to find out if she indeed wishes she hadn't said it. That's all I want. That's all I want. If that's all I could get from this trip to Vegas. That's well, with the number of questions I've gotten about it, I wish she. Had, I wish she hadn't <laughs> said it. So, and uh, you know, I, I, there's things that I've said I wish I hadn't said. I personally wish the whole campaign wasn't so negative that yeah. they would both just say, "This is what I'm for. This is what I've done for you. This is what I'm planning to do." Yeah, you know, please vote for me. Boom. Yeah. That's it. Uh, I, That'll I'm, be the day, man. It's pretty <laughs> bad right now. <laughs> Bob, thank you so much for your time and for letting us uh, in to see your business. And uh, I will say that I know the economy uh, sucks right now in Nevada, but things look pretty busy here today, which is well, nice. Well, we're, we're doing pretty well. Yeah. But, uh, Thanks. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We've had a really good time this campaign season, inexpertly but doggedly tracking Republican Senate candidates who don't like to talk to press that isn't guaranteed to be friendly to them. Christine O'Donnell's campaign booted us right out of their headquarters in Delaware. We sort of wouldn't take no for an answer from Alaska's Joe Miller, and it sort of worked. But Sharon Angle here in Nevada was always going to be just about impossible. Coming up, our months-long effort to meet the Second Amendment Remedies candidate and what it takes to try to cover her campaign for the United States Senate without promising to raise money for her. I'll be right back.